today I'm here in downtown Providence and we're going to take you through some of the most historic places in the city. Standing prominently on the top of Smith Street is Rhode Island's State House. On the top of the State House you can see also our independent man standing at 11 feet tall. The independent man is a symbol of the independent spirit which led Roger Williams to settle here. You can always receive a free tour of the State House, but a few things you can see here are the Gettysburg Gun, the Royal Charter of 1663 given by King Charles II of England, and military servicemen which represent the end of World War II. Okay, so this is Kennedy Plaza. It was constructed in 1848, but back then it was known as Sea Hall Park. Kenny Plaza was known as City Hall Park for the next 116 years until 1964. In 1964, on the night before the presidential election, John F. Kennedy spoke to a crowd from the steps of City Hall. After John F. Kennedy was elected, the city of Providence renamed Kenny Plaza in his honor. So I'm here at the Arcade, a national historical landmark here in Providence. Opening in 1828, it is still the nation's oldest indoor shopping mall. Even after its renovation in 2008, the arcade still holds its history and its architecture. Now home to 14 retail stores and micro lofts in the upper levels, it's a great tourist attraction. Alright, so I'm here with Chad. He's a student here at Johnson Wales. So Chad, can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about the history of Johnson Wales? Well, Johnson Wales was founded in 1914 as a business school, um, and we're celebrating our 100th year anniversary this year. Um, the school's been growing ever since. Alright, thanks Chad. Great talking to you. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Visit Rhode Island. Check out our website, visitrhodeisland.com. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash visitrhodeisland. And follow us on Twitter at visitri.